Well, that was a big old reality check for the Adelaide 36ers as they got whacked by OKC here at the Paycom Centre tonight. It was a disastrous first half for CJ Bruton and his squad as they got down by 38 with the Thunder just lighting it up from long range. Trey Mann and Lindy Waters the third in particular. Those guys ended up combining for 14 from 19 from three-point territory. And after lighting it up in Phoenix a few nights ago, the Adelaide 36ers struggled to find the target. Tell you what though, they battled. They lost the second half overall just by three points and they can walk out of here with their head held high. Uh, Craig Randall was excellent with 27 and the import trio, Randall, Franks, Cleveland, combined for 66 points. And I tell you what, I like the effort from Hiram Harris off the bench tonight as well. He battled. You know, credit to him. We, we knew not to take it lightly. Uh, we, we scouted them and, and went over that. So. Uh, we know they were a really good team, obviously being in Phoenix shows that. Um, so we came out like any other game we would and um, tried to get on the front foot early and we did that. And, um, you know, we did it for 48 minutes, but you know, Adelaide didn't give in. They played you know, f through the full game and um, credit to them. Um, I know they're about to fly home and start their regular season, but um, you know, it was great, great fun playing against them and um, you know, wishing them the best for the season. Yeah, I mean, they had us on edge, you know, with the way they played in, in Phoenix and they put a lot of pressure on you with their movement and with their shooting. The pace that they play at and the shots, you know, force you to pick up higher, force you to be really alert in transition, uh, force you to long rebound because of the amount of threes they take. Um, and at the end of the day, like, I thought we did play really well, but we had to earn it, and that's what you want from your opponent. So um, they made us earn it. How valuable are these games against NBA teams for you guys? Uh, super valuable uh, for um, our players to, to compete against the elite and showcase our talent and, and see the talent that's around the world. Uh, this is the best league in the world, so to be able to compete against them and see where they, they sit, well, how much they've got to work on. Um, not every day teams or players get opportunity to do this. So it's a dream come true for a lot of our players. They probably only played 2K before today. That's the only chance that they got to see some of these guys So uh, and watching them on the TV. So this was definitely amazing for them. But as I told them, man for man, when we step on the floor, that's one person versus another person. And while you know his game, he doesn't know your game. And we need to sit, we, need to, we came here to be the best team and play the best basketball together. And I think in the NBA at times, it gets caught to isolation plays and things like that, but it's still team orientated. For us, we play FIBA rules, we need to share the ball and understand where to go and the timing of it. And we're still working towards that. And it's, it's a shorter game, we don't play 48, so. Um, the floor is a bit bigger here, which our guys sort of, it, it showed today, um, and then bouncing back. They were ready for us, they were ready to play. They made shots, and uh, they, they played for us well in defense and too, so we just had to adjust. But overall, I feel like we still made strides um, for what we're playing at this year. I think uh, we, looked, we looked all right. We tried to stay together, so I mean, that's the biggest thing. They take a lot out of this loss, and they are ready to attack NBL 23 when they get back.